If you went out and bought yourself a new Samsung TV, you don't have to necessarily use the remote control to set it up. On this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Samsung SmartThings application to set up pretty much any Samsung product. Now, one thing about this application, it is available on iOS and it's available on Android devices as well. So today, I'm going to show you how to set up your television with the SmartThings application and I'll show you how you can control your TV as well. Let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and scan the barcode on the screen and open up the SmartThings application. And it is available on iOS and your Android devices. Now it's going to look for your device and as you can see at the bottom of it, it's already starting to find it. Now it's connecting to the TV and it will add the Wi-Fi from your smart device right into the memory of the television so you don't have to set that up later. Next you want to go ahead and choose your language. Next, you'll get Smart Hub Terms and Conditions, and this is so you can use applications, but you can skip it at the bottom. The next screen is you want to choose your location. That could be home or office, what room you want to have it in, and you can give the TV a custom name if you'd like to. Press on Next. And if you want to back up the TV to the Samsung Cloud, you can, and this is so you can restore it later if you ever have to reset it. The next thing you would do is make sure that you have everything plugged into it. And this could be into your HDMI devices as well as an over the air antenna. Press on next. And the cool thing about Samsung TVs, if you want to restore it from a previous install, you can choose one of these or you can just go ahead and do a fresh install. Now this TV does have voice assistance. You can use Bixby, which is owned by Samsung. Or if you have an Amazon account and plan on using Alexa, you can choose that as well, but you would need to log in. Now, if you'd like everything to be done on Macly, you can enable the automatic audio sound. It'll optimize for different environments as well as the different content that you watch. And there is a daily board. So when you walk in the room, it will display different things you want to have on the TV. And then you can go ahead and pre-install applications as well, just by checking these little boxes off it'll automatically install them for you. Now the TV will come with pre-installed apps, but if you have any other services, you can press on it and it'll automatically add them to the install, but that's up to you if you wanna use them. Next, you'll need to enter a pin number and there's no way around this. I'll just put in all ones, make it easy to get to later on. And if you plan on using the Samsung TV Plus, you just wanna go ahead and add a zip code. And this is so it can find local stations. Now, if you do have a cable box, you can go ahead and select that so it can try to set up the remote control. I'm gonna skip it because I don't have one. And now the TV is starting to set up. Now that we're in here, let's take a look at some functionalities. First of all, you can use your smart device as a remote control. As you see, I'm hitting this pad down here at the bottom and it's moving where I want it. You also have your home button as well as your AI button and you have a microphone right here on your smart device. If we close this out, this is the TV settings and I can see all the apps on it, as you can see right there. I can also go down here to the bottom and you can see different content. It does have an art mode, but I will tell you that it does have a paid service on it. So if you wanna use the TV like wall art, you could do that. If you hit features down here, you can use the Q Symphony Samsung sound bars, as well as the hub, and you have all types of different content. And here's that daily board I was talking about if you want to use it. If we press on settings, this is a layout of the television. We have picture modes, we have sound modes, as well as AI, sleep timers. So you do have a lot of functionality here in the application. And if you see, there's a little remote there. I can press that and then I can get back to the volume, the channels, and I have that little keypad and you can customize the page as well. So it kind of gives you a rundown of the SmartThings application and the Samsung TV. The last thing I want to mention is that the SmartThings application will work with other devices such as appliances, sound bars, as well as lights, and anything that can connect with matter. Another thing you can use it for if you have a device like your Amazon account, you can then add a skill into that system and control the TV with your Amazon products as well. So I hope this video helps you guys out. It's not a sponsored video or anything like that. I know a lot of people are buying Samsung TVs and don't use this application. So there you have it. Thanks all for watching. I'm Tech Steve and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.